thanks for checking out my micro drawings channel today i'm drawing snoopy pulling woodstock on a sled we got some snow here so i thought it'd be kind of a fun drawing starting off by showing you my uh, setup here there's my canson xl smooth bristol 100 weight acid free paper there's the pencil in the quarter you see there's the camera holder and there's my ot light that i use for a nice clear clean light those are my Copic sketch markers, and there's my Copic multi-liner. And this is the little case that I put a lot of my drawings in. So getting started here, I will take the Copic multi-liner 0.03, and I'll get started on uh, the top forehead area of Snoopy's head. So I'm just kind of lightly drawing that in. There's the top of his nose, and just rounding that down and around i do use a, a reference picture while i'm drawing these so i'm looking to, at that off to the side and my head is i don't use a microscope or magnifying lens i basically i'm just really close to the paper when i'm drawing so there i've got his uh, eye in and his smile and his nose and his neck and i'm putting in the brim of his hat of his stocking cap and a lot of what I'm looking for when I'm drawing is lines you know so that top um, line of his nose or his forehead um, in this case you know where the, the line where his uh, stocking cap meets his head and here I'm just putting in the different uh, variety of lines uh, this of course is based on Charles Schultz original creation so I'm no way am I trying to take credit for we're coming up with Snoopy. Um, I'm just trying to share a, kind of a fun, my interpret fun my interpretation that I have of doing this as a micro drawing and, and challenging myself to be able to draw, you know, a little picture that basically a quarter can cover up. And you'll see a little bit later here that I'll use a quarter to show you the scale. So there was his tummy. I was uh, struggling a little bit with rounding that off. So it ended up being a little thicker line than I was hoping for, but I think it ends up working out. Um, minor things you can often uh, fix or overcome without having to overstart or start over. So here I'm looking to get his legs in there. There's his front leg and his toes. And in this picture, you can't really see his tail, so that won't enter the picture. Again, this is a Copic multi-liner. 0.03 that I'm using and I'm lightly touching it to the paper there's the back of his heel put on two little curved lines for his toes and then I'll kind of put a, a scarf on here that's flying out behind him so just lightly putting that in and there's the far side it's you know two ends that are flying out there he, uh, got his scarf tied around his neck and the two loose ends are flying behind him as he's pulling wood stock on the sled uh, those uh, scribbly lines those are basically to give a kind of a ground or a base for them and then before I draw the sled I'm uh, drawing wood stock and he ends up being pretty darn tiny doing the best I can to uh, not have my lines go together so again, just looking for those lines, uh, the top of his beak, bottom of his beak, his spiky hair. And one thing I've noticed with all these little drawings is, and the attention to detail, there's a lot of similarity in Woodstock's hair uh, compared to Kelvin and Hobbes' hair. And if you haven't checked out my Kelvin and Hobbes uh, drawings, micro drawings, please check out the playlist on my channel. You'll see a bunch of them. You'll also see a bunch of the Peanuts or Charlie Brown drawings as well. So I've got Woodstock drawn out. And then from there, I'm going to put the kind of the saucer or sled around him. So just kind of creating that to fit him in it. And the string uh, will be, you know, there's a little loop above uh, Snoopy's hand. And then the two strings going down to the sled. Just getting that bottom of the sled in there. So 
So I'm getting close to having the drawing done and then I'll move on to my coloring. Um, I did notice here that I needed to make uh, Woodstock's head feathers, kind of like his little Calvin hair, uh, stick up a little bit more. So that's what I'm touching there. Uh, this is the quarter for scale. You can see it very easily covers up both of them and the sled. And so now I'll move on to my Copic sketch markers. They are acid free. They have a broad chisel end that I just showed you, but I use this fine tip end. And this is a cadmium yellow. I'll show you the cap of that and the other uh, caps as I go on. So coloring in Woodstock with this and then a little bit of uh, Snoopy's um, hat. There we go. Just touching that lightly. These markers don't bleed much, plus um, the uh, paper that I use doesn't allow much for that either. It's a really smooth tooth paper, meaning that it, it's real smooth on the surface if you look at it. If you could zoom in from the side of it, it's, it's not real, uh, doesn't have much for texture, just real smooth, so there's not a lot of um, ability for the ink to really soak in and spread. And there I'm putting in the red color on his scarf and stocking cap or whatever type of hat you'd call that. One that keeps you warm in the winter for sure. And then I'll be putting in a, a little color here to show that there's some shadows in the snow. And that's an ocean blue. I don't think I ended up showing the cap. Sorry about that. So again, just giving a little coloring to make it a little bit more of a scene. And close to finish here. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. And please share. Really appreciate that. Uh, fun to share these and fun to get some feedback too. So if you have any comments, please leave them below. And a thumbs up on the video would be great too. There's the date, November 14th, 2021. Thanks again for watching and have a great day.